welcome to my class. Our lesson for today is all about formulating appropriate null and alternative hypothesis on the population proportion. Our objectives are recall and identify the symbols used in formulating hypothesis, formulate the appropriate null and alternative hypothesis concerning population proportions, lastly, identify whether the given hypothesis test is a single-tailed or a total test. Now, let's have a review. Match column A with column B. Using the given figure, let us identify which symbols corresponds from the given column A to column B. The first one is alternative hypothesis. Sample proportion. Null hypothesis. Population proportion, sample size, value of 1 minus p, and level of significance. Now, let us take this given statement. Remember that the hypotheses are claims about the population proportion. The null hypothesis states that the proportion is equal to a specific value or the hypothesized proportion. On the other hand, the alternative hypothesis is the competing claim that the, com the population proportion is less than, greater than, or not equal to hypothesized proportion. Additional, the null hypothesis is always a statement of equality. The alternative hypothesis is always a statement of inequality using the symbols less than, greater than, or not equal to. Moreover, the hypotheses are stated in such a way that they are mutually exclusive. That is, if one is true, the other must be false, and vice versa. If you're going to write the null hypothesis in sentence form, you will usually use is or is equal to. In symbol, you're going to use h of sub o is, e is p is equal to p sub o. Meanwhile, to formulate alternative hypothesis in sentence form or in symbols, you will just remember the following. So, to illustrate a given alternative hypothesis with the given words smaller, less, decrease, fewer, or lower, our alternative hypothesis is P is less than P sub O. While if the words are larger, greater, more, Increased, we are going to use alternative hypothesis, which is P is greater than P sub O. The word different, not equal to, change. The alternative hypothesis that we're going to use is P is not equal to P sub O. Where P is the population proportion, and P sub O is the hypothesized proportion. Another thing, remember... No one-tailed test and two-tailed test. The alternative hypothesis contains greater than or less than. It is directional. If the alternative contains not equal to symbol, it has no direction. Thus, to illustrate the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis in the two-tailed test, right-tailed test, and left-tailed test. So, please remember this given table. Let us take this example to deepen our understanding. It has been claimed that 40% of students in a particular senior high school dislike mathematics. When a survey was conducted by a researcher, it showed that 145 of 800 students dislike mathematics. Test if the claim was different at a given alpha of 0 0.05 level. To determine the null and alternative hypothesis, let us use the statement, the proportion of students who dislike mathematics is 40%. So, 40% will be converted into decimal, which is 0 0.40. In symbol, to show our null hypothesis, we have P is equal to 0 
To be able to express our alternative hypothesis, let us use the keyword which is different or not the same or not equal. Therefore, the alternative hypothesis is the proportion of students who dislike mathematics is not equal to 40%. Symbol, we have alternative hypothesis, P is not equal to 0.40. Let's have our example number 2. A certain senior high school plans to open STEM as an academic track only if 60% of the students in their junior high school will enroll on the following academic year. A survey conducted among a random sample of students revealed that 450 out of 1,000 students will enroll. Is the, is the expected enrollment significantly lower than the desired enrollment? Test at a given a level of significance which is 0 0.05. To begin with, to determine the null and alternative hypothesis, let us use the statement the proportion of students who will enroll on STEM track is 60%. Let us convert 60% to decimal, that is 0.60. To express our null hypothesis we have P is equal to 0.60. To have our alternative hypothesis, let us use the hint word which is lower than, which means also less than. Thus, the statement shows that the proportion of students who will enroll in STEM strap is lower than 60%. As a symbol, we have alternative hypothesis, whose P is less than 0.60. Another example, it has been claimed that 40% of qualified applicants passed in a particular job interview. When a survey was conducted by a researcher of a certain company, it showed that 90 of 145 applicants passed the job interview. Test if the claim was larger at the given level of significance of 0.05 level. Let us determine the null and alternative hypothesis. From the statement, the proportion of qualified applicants in a particular job interview is 40%. Converting 40% to decimal, we have 0.40. Thus, in symbol, our null hypothesis P is equal to 0.40. The word larger is synonymous to greater. Hence, the alternative hypothesis will be the proportion of qualified applicants in a particular job interview was larger than 40%. In symbol, we have the alternative hypothesis which is P is greater than 0.40. That's all for today, class. Thank you for listening. And always remember, aim high, senior high.